Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nahid Akhtar and in this video, I'm going to talk about the count if and count ifs functions in Google Sheets. If you've been using Google Sheets for some time now, you might be familiar with the count and count a functions, which help you simply count cells in a given range. But what if you don't want to count all the cells in a given range, but only those that meet some criteria? That's where the count if and count ifs functions come into play. In this video, we're going to see how these two functions differ and how they can be applied to practical situations. Let's start with the count if function. The count if function counts the number of cells in a given range that match one given criterion. The keyword here is one, meaning you can only test one criterion using this function. The syntax is simple. You pass the range of cells from which you want to count as the first parameter and the condition that you want satisfied as the second parameter. For example, take this list. Say you want to find out how many times the word color appears in this list. Quite simple. We use the COUNTIF function and pass the range A2 to A13 as the first parameter and the condition color as the second parameter. This means you just want to check the value of the text. If it exactly matches this text, then count the cell. So what's going to happen here? The COUNTIF function is going to go through each cell in the range A2 to A13 and it's going to see if the value of the cell matches this condition, color. Does this match? No. Then does this match? Yes. So count that as 1. Next. Does this match? No. So don't count it. And keep moving and each time it encounters the word color, it increases the count by 1. When you press the return key for this formula, you get the result as 5, which is the number of times the word color appears in this list. Now this was just a random list of words, not very useful. Let's see a more practical example. This is a data set that contains country-wise sales data. The data set has names of countries, types of items sold, whether these items were sold online or offline, and so on. Let's say you want to count how many online transactions were made. Well, we only need to count how many times the word online appears in this range, right? So we use the formula equals count if C2 to C21 comma online. And there we have it. The word online appears in the range C2 to C21 10 times. Next, let's try to count how many orders were made on 8th August 2012. Simply use the formula equals count if D2 to D21 and in double quotes the date 8-22-2012. D2 to D21 because order date is in column D. It's in the range D2 to D21. We're going to check in this range and see if the date matches this date. And if it does, then the date will be counted. So the answer is 1. Now what if we want to know how many orders were made before this date? We can also use logical expressions as conditions in this function. So we could simply say equals count if d2 to d21 again, but this time the condition is less than 8 22 2012 and there are seven orders made before this date now let's come to a critical question what if we want to count how many baby food items were sold online before 1st jan 2015 a complex question isn't it we want to check three different things we want to make sure the item type is baby food, we want the sales channel to be online and also want the date, order date to be before 1st Jan 2015. 
we have three conditions that check three different columns. The COUNTIF function cannot cover this. So that's when we use the COUNTIFS function. The COUNTIFS function lets you count cells based on more than one condition. And the syntax for this function is like this. You have the range you want to count from as your first parameter, the condition you want for that range as your second parameter, and after that, keep adding pairs of range and criteria for each separate condition that you want satisfied. Let me take an example so it will become clearer. So our problem was that we wanted the count of the number of baby food items sold online before 1-1-2015. We want to count baby food items. So the range, so we start with count ifs, okay. We want to count baby food items. So the range B2 to B21 is our first parameter. And the condition for this range is that it has to be equal to baby food. Next, we want the sales channel to be online. So, next range is for the sales channel that is C2 to C21. And its condition is online. It has to be equal to online. The third condition is that the date should be less than 1-1-2015. So, the next range is for order date that is D2 to D21 and its condition is that it has to be less than 1-1-2015 and that's it. Press the return key and you get your answer. You get the number of items that satisfy all these three conditions. Let's try one last example. Let's count how many office supply items worth more than $100 were sold offline. Again, we have three conditions here. By the way, you can have as many conditions as you want. It's just by chance that we have three conditions in both these examples. Okay, so we want to count item types that equal office supply. Okay, so let's have it. Equals count ifs. Because we have three conditions here, we're using count ifs. So item type B2 to B21 should be office supplies. It should be equal to office supplies. We want the unit price to be more than $100. So the range, unit price is E, right? E2 to E21 should be greater than 100. And we want the sales channel to be offline. So C2 to C21 should be offline. And there we go. We got, oops, okay, we made a mistake here. Yeah, there we go. We got our result. You can pause the video at this point and check if the formula counted the cells right. And that's all. I showed you what each of these two functions, count if and count ifs, do and how they work. The count if function allows you to count cells based on a single condition, while the count ifs function lets you count cells based on multiple conditions. I hope the tutorial was simple and easy for you to follow. You can see more examples and read more about these two functions in my article that I've linked in the description below. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button. And to see more videos like these when they get posted, press the subscribe button. Thank you and have a nice day.